Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing how to make heart-shaped chocolate-covered strawberries for Valentine's Day, so you can give to your, you can make them for your best friend, your fiance, your, you know, whoever you want. You can make them for your parents even if you want to. So let's get started. The things you will need are strawberries, chocolate of your choice, toothpicks, bowls to mix the chocolate in, spoons, candy melts, food coloring, sprinkles of your choice, probably Valentine's Day colors like pink, red, and white, so that's what I'm using today. So let's get started. First, you're going to take your strawberries. A good sized one. You're gonna cut the top off. And then you're gonna cut it in half. Just do these do these with as many strawberries as you're gonna make or strawberry hearts you're gonna make I should say. So there's one on. Open your Open your chocolate. You're going to cut however much you need if you're using baking chocolate you're going to cut. Now you're going to heat this chocolate up for 10 second intervals. And when the 10 seconds is up, you're going to stir it. Put it back in. Start again. And then... Once it's all melted, I uh, will be back. Alright, I'm back and my chocolate is melted. So before you put the strawberries in the chocolate, you're going to position them in like a heart shape. So make sure you get the corresponding match. Put them on a table or surface. You can see where to make them into a shape of a heart to help you. And then push a toothpick through like at an angle oh these strawberries are too big so if the strawberries are big you're gonna need two toothpicks to hold them together so here is the heart so there I have all four of my hearts and now you're gonna take the strawberry try to hold it by the the skewer and just drip, put chocolate over it. You're going to want to work kind of fast so then the chocolate doesn't harden on you. Your hands may get messy on this. So this is, I'm dripping chocolate over. This is what it looks like. So we're just going to set it on here and go on to your next strawberry. Here's the second one. You're going to need a plate. I used a, a Tupperware lid, but you're going to need a lid to put the strawberries on so that we don't get chocolate everywhere. So I'm going to go rinse up, wait for the rest of this to dry, and then I'll show you what to do next. Now you're going to take your white candy milk, or any candy milk that you have. Take a cup of milk. I'm gonna do like this much. I'm gonna heat it up like the that chocolate in like 10, 10 second intervals. And then I'm you're also going to need a Ziploc baggie if you want to pipe it. You don't have to pipe it on there, but I'm going to to make it look fancier. So I'm gonna go get a plastic bag. I'm going to put the white chocolate. Before I put the white chocolate in the bag, I'm going to color it with food coloring. And then I'll put the on chocolate in the bag. And then I'll be back with you when I get that to, to that point. So, I have no idea what I did. I heated up the chocolate, the white chocolate mixture, and it made like this doughy consistency. I tried it two separate times and it still didn't work, so I might have heated it up too much. But the chocolate tastes fine, so I don't know what the heck is wrong. I'm going to use it anyways, instead of wasting all of this. So, 
I put it in the bag. I already cut the corner. I'm just gonna like drizzle it on here. Drizzle because it's like Play-Doh material. And you can stick sprinkles on it. Ta-da! So this was kind of a fail. The chocolate covered strawberry part is a success. But if you want to put like extra chocolate on top, I would suggest not microwaving it and um, do the double boiler method and cook it on the stove. So if you're going to do that, then it'll be a success and look better than this, but this is all I got for now. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.